Yes. K can be 1. Yes. K can be 1. Look here. I have here a rod which has a negligible mass. At the end of that rod is all the mass, capital M. And so the mass of the rod can be completely ignored. So the moment of inertia of this object is of course ML squared. The length of this squared times the mass. And if you use such a rod with near zero mask, and you put it at an angle of 15 degrees, and let it go, then K is 1, but yet it would let go, it would lose contact with the wall when the angle is 49.9 degrees. Now, remember that we did this eagle problem that an object or a person was sitting on top of an eagle and the reason why we took an eagle is it has to be ice so it's near zero frequency near zero friction okay and we would let the person slide over here it was one of my problems in my channel it's a classic problem. And the question is, when will this object lose contact with the surface of the eagle? If you offset this angle at 15 degrees, you will find that the angle theta then is 49.9 degrees. So, I hope I've given you some insight, some reasonable values of K. Sometimes it's not so easy to calculate K, but it's irrelevant because the final result is independent of K. Independent of math, independent of length, independent of G, and independent of K. I have calculated the case here for uniform mass densities in the plank and in the disc but that density can be very different for two discs and yet they would have the same value of k <laughs> as long as the density is uniform in that disc all right then Will be friends? That's a given. I hope this has helped you a little bit.